it's time at Dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking this video and making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is Wednesday. And that means it is oh, Wednesday Wisdom for Weight Loss. You ask the, quest the tough questions and I answer them as best I can. Remember, this is my opinion. Do I know everything? No. Do I claim to know everything? No. This is just my answer to your questions. You have every right to sit there and say, D, you're full of you know what you can think that i'm not because it's an opinion it, these are my opinions on the questions that you asked and i like giving it to you i need to tighten that <laughs> so let's get started get some trash out of the way it's a mess here today all right <clears throat> I've been using protein powder for progrip bowls and shakes. What other ways do you use it? I would love to find more ways of using it. Well, they're my favorite ways of using it. Progrip bowls and shakes. Um, you could add it to baked goods, like pancakes, make your pancakes, protein pancakes, uh, waffles, stuff like that. Um, you know, you could, you know, any of the recipes that I make, you could probably throw protein powder in. What I would do possibly is maybe because of this, you know, the size of your scoop, like if it's a, a pancake recipe, maybe take out that much batter, a like pancake mix, and then see how it goes. Like I, I don't want it to be too dry because that might happen if you have too much of the dry ingredients. So I would take that, that part out and then see the consistency. You could always add it back in if you think it needs a little bit more. But um, people um, make protein coffees but they use mostly liquid i don't know if you could use um powder in a coffee i don't drink coffee but i know people have their profi so um you might be able to put i think the powder would make it too thick that's what i'm thinking but then again i've never made it so i really can't tell um but yes yeah, smoothies is probably the biggest thing program bowls and like i said any kind of baked good um though all I will tell you, some don't bake as good as others. Um, though I've, I've never really, you know, all the ones I've used have baked well. So I always say, give it a try. It might not puff up as much as a traditional flour would, but, um, or go to the website. Uh, if you have a, like a, like Clean Simple Eats has recipes. Devotion on their website has recipes using their powders. So I would say, check out their recipes and see if you can make it with your powder. I'm not sure what brand you have, but I would say give it a go. And that's my advice. Yes, check out the website. They've done all the work for you. Like, don't struggle. Just go to like Devotion Nutrition. There's recipes. And I know um, Clean Simple Eats has recipes. And I say use those. But those are the things that I've done with them. I've not done anything other than that that I know of. No, that's about it. All right. During your weight loss journey, did you ever use any of these to help you? Prayers, affirmations, motivational quotes. No. Prayers, yes. Oh, I pray every Sunday in church. One of the, you know, they always say, you know, an intention you hold dear in your heart. We, when we give our intentions. I say, I just can stick with it. I could just stick with it another week. I just can stick with it another week. I'm not, um, affirmations. My only affirmation is probably eat it like you're going to lose it because I know I have to stay true to that because if I do something different to lose weight, you just can't stop doing it because oh, I just did to lose weight. So now I can do whatever I want. So I always lose it like you're going to live. is probably my favorite one. And I don't even know if I've coined it. I don't know if I did. I just know that that is something uh, I do. I'm not a motivational quote person. I share them when I see them. Like if I'm scrolling Facebook and there's like these, you know, sites, this now that you find one is like, you get them all the time in your feed. So if I see one, I definitely share it in the group. Um, but there's nothing that I, you know, did anything, you know, I just realized that the journey takes time. And I think when I realize that I don't, I'm not on a, a speed race that I could do what I need to do in a you know slower pace and I could achieve what I want to achieve, then I just, it kept me more motivated to keep going. But no, I have not used any of those. I know it sounds horrible. <laughs> but when I see a good one, I always share it in the group because I think, because it might spark something with somebody. You know, another one I've seen lately, and I, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a sprint. 
You know, we always, it's not a race. It's, you know, we always think we want to get there. Like, that's the thing. It's not going fast enough. It's not going fast enough. So anything I see, anything like that, and um, taking it day by day is something that I always share. So if I see something, I usually share it in the group. But if you're not part of my Facebook group, you should be. Dish with these crew. Does the protein powder in those packages equal one scoop? Yes. Yes. It's a serving. So whatever brand you have, your brand has a scoop for that serving. So the packets are a serving of that protein powder. So yeah, if you have a big canister and you, it comes with a scoop, that's the serving. I mean, most usually it's one scoop. I don't know of any that uses two scoops of serving, as far as I know. But yes. Do you have any more mini loaf pan recipes for breakfast? Um, actually, I just made one yesterday. You could put anything in the mini loaf pan, but I made the TikTok cottage cheese pancake in a mini loaf pan. I saw Kara do it and I thought, but only thing I did differently is I didn't put it in the blender. I just mixed it by hand and I used quick oats versus rolled oats. And I, I find when you're gonna do something that you don't wanna blend, a quick oats are really versatile. They're they look more like flour. Like when you bake, after it's baked, it comes out, looks like you didn't even have oats in there. So um, I have several, um, I have oat bakes, I have French toast bakes um, on the all of my websites. I have two, I know. You can't just have one, you gotta have two. Uh, I have an older one, www.dishwithd.org. And my newer one is www.dishwithd.com. I shouldn't say new, it's two years now. I just renewed it for two more years, I'm like, so you just, there's search engines in both. The .org is at the bottom. The .com is at the top. Nothing like, you know, being consistent. Um, so you could always put in there maybe mini loaf or mini. Sometimes it's always in the wording that you choose. Um, but, you know, they're the ones that I have mostly with oats or French toast bakes. And I have all different kinds of French toast bakes. And I use the light bread on the French toast bakes because I think it's fluffy and delicious. That's it for the Facebook. Let me just. All right, let's. Um, I have a few from last week's video. And so many nice comments. Ugh, brush the morning. Okay. I don't know. Oh, let me see before I. I think that the macro one was the first one. Let me double check. <laughs> It's like, Denise, you really should be ready. I know I should be. Back when WW had simply filling, the program had a green triangle. Oh, somebody asked, the, oh, they asked, is there a diabetic plan on healthy? As far as I know, they they only stopped at green, blue, green, and purple. They have not done anything since then. So there technically isn't a diabetic plan. Now, there's different plans that, I think there's one called carb conscious that maybe it's a lower carb version. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know there is a, um, there's nothing current on healthy that WW is doing. I'm not sure why. I mean, they don't have to. <laughs> but yeah, I'm curious to why they didn't update for personal points. They don't have that algorithm in their, in their healthy. It's just the smart points one is the last one. How do you track macros? I have no idea how many calories I should have a day and how much protein I should have. Um, I always say that is something you should ask your doctor, not me. <laughs> I am not, I always say, I put that out there. I am not a professional. I, I kind of hesitate finishing that class because I don't know if I want to be responsible for telling you that information. And that's why I go back and forth with it. I'm like, part of me just wants to do it maybe just for my own peace of mind, but I don't know if I feel comfortable saying that to you. So I, I don't know. I mean, we're all different and we all have different makeups. I, I just don't feel comfortable in saying, oh, you should have this. What I will do is I will put a link down below for a calculator, a macro, it, you put all your information in and it gives you that. And you can adjust that. Like just because something says something to me, I'd stick with it. Um, and you definitely, and even on the healthy app, you could adjust your macros on there. You could put, if you want to have more protein, less protein, low carb, high carb, you put in there manually what you want it to be. You don't have to do what it says. So I will put that calculator in the description box below. So you can go on that website and you can see, you just 
just for shits and giggles what it says and like I said you can even call your doctor and talk to the nurse there sometimes the nurse will talk to you or on your next visit it's definitely something to ask now our supermarket shop right used to have free of charge and nutritionist you can go and talk to now I'm not sure if anybody else's has that so I just thought I, you know I would say call and see and you never know um also I'm going to link below my plate um I've linked it down there before I like that's probably the only site I would recommend for you to check out it gives you everything and I feel like it's not biased like I feel like we can go and you can find a site that gives you exactly what you want to hear there are sites that skewed this there are sites that are skewed that but I feel this one is just a general it's kind of got no agenda it's just it's just a really good site and it gives you a lot of how to make your plate how to eat and things you know things you should eat things you shouldn't eat and I just like it and that was the one that the the, the um, company the class I'm taking recommended and I joined in there you can join it's free and I just like the whole idea of it and I felt like it was very helpful it showed you how to build a plate and it tells you half your plate should be fruits and vegetables before you even move on to anything else and that is that is a big thing and you know you have 25 percent protein 25 percent grain and it's just a really good i think resource that doesn't cost you anything you can go on there i don't think it gives you macro like counts like what you should do but the calculator will give you a general idea but what i i just like it and it apps here's the funny thing um when you click on the the plates like it, it tells you like dairy's on the side and it recommends low fat dairy now i've done a little you know research and back and forth and i have not seen anything negative with low fat dairy um it you know i don't know if i'd go it says fat free i'm not sure i do fat free a lot of dairy but i would say i definitely think a lower fat dairy is not a bad option i think it's you know you always have to watch um sometimes when you take out fat of things other things are added so you just have to check and make sure there's not too much sodium in there because there is a fat-free cottage cheese in my local store that is 425 milligrams of sodium per per portion which is a lot when you go to the regular one it's like what 50 grams versus so i mean there is different things to consider when you're doing these things but you know if you're a person that needs a little bit more then a portion that maybe a lower fat option might be the best option for you rather than i mean you could have full fat yeah but you're not going to get a lot if you're looking for points and calories you're not going to get as much as you might want so but they're saying it's not a bad option so i i've and I, like i said i did a couple researches about that because i was a little bit like wow but so the, what's here? the dairy group includes milk, yogurt, cheeses, lactose-free milk, and fortified soy milk and yogurt. The dairy group does not include foods made from milk that have little calcium and higher fat content. Uh, so it doesn't have anything about sour cream or butter. Okay. Heck, I use yogurt in place of sour cream. I, my family doesn't even know the difference, but that was that question. Let me go back. So again, I will have those two things linked down below. It's just a place to check it out. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. Just go on there and you can look it up. If food is zero points of WW, do you change it to zero on a healthy app because it's not zero? No, when I follow the healthy app, I follow, follow better balance. And that plan does not have zero point popcorn. I could make it zero, but that plan doesn't have it. So I felt like for me to make popcorn zero would, you know, I'm not following that plan that I'm following Weight Watchers. So I charge myself on that plan for popcorn. Now, if there's a zero point food that's supposed to be zero, like say you go unhealthy and it's, it's happened, it's happened. I put something in there. I can't remember what the heck it was. Maybe we'll say it was eggs and I would, you know, and it came up as points. I'm not sure why, because eggs are zero on that plan. So there's a toggle. There's a toggle. For, you could toggle everything zero if you wanted. So I just toggled the eggs as zero. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I think fat-free cottage cheese was not zero on that plan, nor did we have popcorn. So I, didn't, I think we had corn though. I think we had corn. Remind me if we didn't. I don't remember if we had corn as zero. I can't remember. It's been a while. I, don't, I haven't had corn in a while. 
So, yeah, so that's what I do. Um, is there anyone else? Oh, the diabetic mania. They don't have one. Um, that was the last one. I think I, I said earlier because that was the one I, I remembered. Um, not that I know of, but know that, you know, big thing with diabetics is fruit carbohydrates. And that is huge. So if you're looking to follow a diabetic plan, then you have to keep your carbs, I would say, at least 100 or lower. I mean, I wouldn't say 50 because that's that's extremely low. And I don't know. I would say try, like, well, see what, you know what? Track your carbs and see where you're at. Find out really where you fall. And then I would say do at least 100 or to find out where you're at that. So I try to do like 110, 120 is that's, I try not to go any higher than that. I'm not diabetic. I'm not pre-diabetic. I just think it's, I think eventually I may be, but who knows? And I feel like if I could get used to that now, it might be helpful. And I don't eat a lot of fruit. I try. I do. I try to eat fruit. I'm not a fruit lover, but I have been into the bananas since they're very filling and they're good for you. I just, I, my parents would laugh. They used to wonder like how I survived because back then I ate nothing. I just didn't like fruit, but, um, yeah, so just like keep an eye on, you know, and if you're looking for a diabetic plan, do you, um, not use traditional sugar, go to a sugar substitute. I would recommend that. I mean, not many people might not. I, I just feel like there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I know there was this big controversy, you know, a few months back about, but we're not eating as much as that study showed. And that study was not about that. So it was a, definitely a study that was put out before, it, you know, it was not done properly. And, you know, like I said, and the amount of, of sweet inject they were in, uh, had was way more than I would ever have in probably a week, let alone a day. So I don't really worry about that kind of stuff. But that's me. If it bothers you, then don't have it. You know, but you can't have it both ways. You either have to be on or off and, and do your research. I mean, you could go and email those companies and ask them, you know, don't just take my word for it. <laughs> like, again, don't take my word for it. You need to do your own research. The same thing with your own journey. You need to do your own journey. It's, I love giving information. I love sharing stuff. But I'm in hopes that you're learning something and you're growing from that and you're building on it. I don't want you to just keep copying what I do. I want you to sit there and take what I do and then run with it. I've had people make really different fun things with the things that I've made. And somebody made, um, look like, was it muffins or donuts with the, um, the cream of wheat bread? Like how that's like, that just makes my heart sing because you're taking something and you're using it and you're building on it and you're growing and that's how you become successful. I did that on Roy's Live. We talked about it. We're here to teach, you know, or guide and, and share our journey and share what we've learned in hopes that you get that and that sparks something in you to continue it. It's like I get asked every day if I post something. And I do it sometimes. I'm going to tell you, I do it on purpose a little bit. Uh, I post something. What's the point? How many, you know, I, they're like, well, I listed everything that was in it. So why can't you figure out the points? You all have an app. You all have a recipe builder. You all have a pen and paper. You all know how many points these things are. They're basic stuff, you know? So, and I get it all. And I just wait. I, and then I, somebody, somebody will post the points. I'm like, yay, because it's, that's what I wanted you to do. Listen to this. <laughs> Cause I want you to figure it out. Because the more you figure it out, the more you just are growing and you're enjoying and you're really becoming part of this journey and you're really going to be successful. Somebody that just asks for something all the time is just going to be sitting there asking and asking. And I don't want to see you here spinning your wheels for the rest of your life. There's lots to do out there in the world. And that's what I, that is my goal for you. My goal is with any parent, with any uh, educator or whatever, you just want to see them, like you see that spark and you want to see them. And you just get so proud that, yes, you've got it. And it's it's a proud, you know, moment. And I get that a lot. But I want to get it more. I want to get it all the time. And I know. I'm able, you better say, be able to watch for my tests. 
I think that's it. So it was a short one today. So thank you for all your questions. I appreciate it. If you didn't get your question answered, if I missed it, I apologize. Leave it down in the comment section below. I will get to it next week. And I also post the day before to the Facebook group if anybody has any questions for Wednesday Wisdom. So if you're not part of that, you can answer it there if you are. So that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D. We are quite the family here. We are a very supportive community of waste watching warriors. So come join us if you need a tribe. You know, you've lost your WWB meeting. They've let you out to the wolves. But we are here to support you. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you know somebody that needs a tribe, needs a family, don't forget to share that. We would love to have you. We would love to have the bigger, the better, the family. It's all good. So I will dish with you another day. Goodbye, my lovelies.